So we just talked about the white blood cells that are located in blood vessels, part of the blood, in addition to the red blood cells, which are the majority of the cells. Remember, blood also contains plasma as a large component, um, the majority. So we just introduced those white blood cells. This is a good time to talk about those white blood cells a little bit more in terms of the immune system and contrast that to the lymphatic system. The lymphatic system is also a system of vessels. So um, it, it contains a fluid similar to blood, but a little different. So let's talk about the differences and similarities. First, um, let's compare and contrast the immune system and lymphatic system. These are commonly mixed up. They have overlap in how they function, um, but they are different. And they're almost as different as like lymphatic system and the cardiovascular system, blood vessels overlap as well. So um, let's keep these, start with some definitions. So the lymphatic system is a system of vessels, cells, structures, right? physical structures, um, organs, I'll add that, structures is pretty general, right? Um, that carry fluids in, in the body. And in this case, back to the bloodstream. So carry fluid, the fluid is called lymph and they're carrying that lymph um, from the tissues to the blood. So very important overlap and um, integration with the cardiovascular system. We will see the lymphatic system, like really the importance of this in terms of this fluid regulation after we talk about capillary action, um, capillary filtration at the tissues, you'll, we will see this again and how important this carrying fluid back. It's 20 liters a day of your blood is filtered out into your tissues. Um, the lymphatic system is what gets that back into your bloodstream. Super important for maintaining blood pressure, fluid volume, and preventing edema, so swelling in your tissues. Um, when the lymph does this, so the other part here is that it's, it's filtering and carrying pathogens. Okay. Um, the immune system, on the, on the other hand, is cells, organs, other structures that either prevent pathogen um, invasion. So it's gonna be like a barrier or destroy pathogens. They're in the body. Right? There's obviously overlap in, in how these are going to affect each other and act. So an example of that is when you are sick, you have a virus, your immune system starts, um, you start producing all kinds of white blood cells in response to this, and your lymph nodes swell. So lymph node swelling during immune response is an example of um, how these both these systems are affected by, in that case, a pathogen. Okay, so let's start with the immune system and then we will talk a little bit, I'm sorry, let's start with the lymphatic system and then we'll talk a little bit more about the immune system.